Welcome back to another episode. Today's episode actually took me about a week until I could actually sit down, collect my thoughts, and have this conversation with you without being absolutely pissed off. We're going to discuss in today's episode the wonderful showing the Atlanta Falcons had at Super Bowl 51 and some lessons you can take away to help you in your business. Welcome to this edition of Peak Performers Podcast with your host, Thor Conklin. Thor will be sharing the necessary tools, strategies, and psychology you'll need to become a peak performer in any area of your life or business. Thor Conklin here. We give you the tricks, the tips, the tools, the strategy, the technology, and the psychology peak performers use in order to get more done and execute at the highest level. If you know what to do but struggle with getting it all done or simply want to raise your game to the next level, this podcast is for you. Sit back and enjoy. Are you spending a bunch of time every day, every week, setting up meetings or phone calls and trying to coordinate your schedule with somebody else? Would you please stop that? That's a big waste of time. Today's show is brought to you by Acuity Scheduling. I use it for everything that I do, booking guests on the podcast, phone calls, meetings, whatever. It synchronizes with my calendar. It knows when I'm busy. It knows when I'm not busy. And I can set times when I want to have these specific appointments. To get your free account, simply go to the show notes, look under sponsors, click on the link, and sign up. I live in Atlanta, Georgia. Now, I'm not a huge football fan, but I support our team. Well, at least I did support our team. It was a complete embarrassment to everybody that lives in Atlanta And the way they went about losing that game is absolutely inexcusable. The first half, they were up 21 to 0. There was 2 minutes and 21 seconds left in the half. New England is driving down the field, and they're almost in field goal position. And the party that I was at, they were actually sitting there saying, it's okay, we'll just hold them to a field goal. It's okay if we just keep them out of the end zone. It'll be okay. Three points, it doesn't matter. I'm like, what do you mean it doesn't matter? You've got to be kidding me. Stop. Do not let them score anything. When you're up against a worthy opponent, you do not want to give them an inch, not an inch. I'm like, this mentality of, of allowing them to say, oh, that's just okay. Just let's give them a little bit. Wow, no, you don't do that in sports and you don't do that in business. When you're up against your competition, whoever it is, when they are down, you want to kick them. When they go to get back up, you want to step on their throat. Do not allow them to get up and regain their strength, especially a Tom Brady, especially your number one competitor. They are out to kill you. It's like getting mugged, right? A mugger comes up. What are you going to do? To slap him in the face? Oh, here, just take that. No! You want to take them out. Well, we know what happened. They drove down. They actually hit the uh, field goal at the end of the uh, end of the half. And it was 21-3. to Come back after halftime. Falcons come back, score another touchdown. Now it's 28-3. to Everybody on the sidelines, up in the owner's box, everybody's celebrating, we've got this done. We have this. Then... We all know it turned. And this, by the way, is with eight minutes left in the third quarter. There is not a lot of time left in this game. There are 23 minutes left in the game total. Nobody comes back from a 28-3 to deficit, right? Wrong. Now what happens? New England drives down. They score a touchdown. And they do the unthinkable. They miss the extra point. New England gets the ball back, drives down the field, scores a field goal, 28-12. to They get the ball back again, drive down the field again, get a touchdown. Now they have to make a two-point conversion because they missed the extra point on the earlier touchdown. Not only do they score, but they make the two-point conversion. Now it's 28-20. If they can get the ball back and drive down the field and make a two-point conversion, they can tie. All the Falcons have to do is keep the ball, score themselves, or just keep it away from New England. We're in the fourth quarter. There's just a few minutes left. What do they do? They give New England the ball back on their nine-yard line. They've got to go the entire field. They only have three minutes and 30 seconds. They've got to score 
and do another two-point conversion in order to tie the game. Could Atlanta prevent them from doing that? Nope. They drive all the way down, get the touchdown, and make the two-point conversion. Now we're in overtime. New England gets the ball first. Now all we have to do is prevent them from getting into the end zone. And if they happen to score a field goal, well, guess what? We get the ball back and get a chance to either tie it or win it with a touchdown. We all know what happened. Not only did they let them drive all the way down the field, get into field goal position, but they allowed them to score a touchdown. And I'm sure if the game wasn't over at that point, they would have scored another two-point conversion. It was like there was two teams on the field that day, first half and second half. All right, now that we relived Super Bowl 51, let's talk about what happened and what the lessons were that came from this game. One, it's never over until the buzzer sounds, and it's over. The refs leave the field. The client signs the contract. The client pays you. The money clears your bank. Just getting a check sometime is not enough. The check has to be good. When you got your foot on the gas, keep it depressed. Put it to the floor. Do not let up for an instant. Momentum is so important. If you lose that momentum, trying to reverse it the other way takes a lot of effort. When things are not going your way, take a time out. Simply step back and say, I've got to regroup. I've got to rest the troops. I've got to work on my strategy. Otherwise, you just get run over like the Falcons did. In sports and in the boardroom, you are only as strong as your weakest link. It only takes one person on your team for the client to think that you're a bunch of idiots. And it only takes one player in the field to make a mistake that allows Brady to come down and crucify you. Stop playing nice. We talked about this earlier in this episode. When they're down, you crush them. When they go to get up, you hit them again. And they try to get up again, you step on their throat. Do not let your opponent get off the mat. Take them out at the knees. Sometimes a wounded opponent is a very dangerous opponent. Don't let them back in the game. Don't let them back in your business. And finally, never, ever, ever celebrate until the game is over until it's absolutely finalized and you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that that deal is yours, that customer is yours, lock it down. I hope I never have to witness another event like that from the Atlanta Falcons, but who knows? But more importantly, don't allow an event like this to affect your business, your life. Push through to the very last second. You know, I used to run track. You don't run to the finish line. You run through the finish line. Your goal is beyond it. Pick a point 10 yards past the finish line and run as hard as you can all the way to that point. Thank you so much for listening today. I really do appreciate your time, and I hope you found today's show valuable. If you would like to receive these shows automatically to your phone or to your computer, simply go to iTunes and subscribe. After listening to several of the shows, If you're so inclined, please leave us a five-star rating as this helps us reach additional people and spread the message. If you're truly committed to taking your life to the next level and doing whatever it takes to become a peak performer, but something's holding you back, something is blocking your way, and you just can't seem to figure out what it is, send me an email to info at thorconklin.com and I'd be more than happy to get on the phone with you. We'll schedule a 15-minute discovery call. No obligation, no cost. I absolutely love to hear from the listeners. And if there's something I can do to help, I'd be more than happy to do that. Also, if you found something of great interest in today's show and you want to share that with your friends and family, simply go to my Facebook page, Thor Conklin. Click on the episode, hit the share button, and share it on your page. You can follow me at Twitter at Thor Conklin. The website is ThorConklin.com. We're constantly adding new free resources discussing additional tricks, tips, tools, and strategies on how to be a peak performer. Remember, I try to keep these episodes short so you can listen to them during dot time, doing other things, commuting, driving, walking, working out. Decide to be a peak performer in all that you do. And until tomorrow, have an absolutely amazing day.